As heat waves become more intense with climate change, scientists are uncovering how extreme heat affects our brains. This is a story from the series Heat Affects the Brain. We'll bring you stories about how heat affects our memory, mental health, and more. So stay tuned. It was the summer of 2021. The thermometer was rising and so was little Jake. The then five-month-old baby was having his first seizure. A quick video call with a doctor confirmed what his mother feared most. Jake's rare neurological disorder, Dravet syndrome, was flaring up. Summers are hot, but they're getting hotter and so are the seizures. His mom says the increasingly hot summers are adding to the burden of living with this condition. According to Sanjay Sisodia from University College London, Dravet syndrome is just one of many neurological diseases that are worsened by high temperatures. Our brain cells are extremely heat sensitive and their communication depends on temperature. Too much heat can disrupt brain function, increasing the risk of seizures, strokes and cognitive decline. Bethan Davies, a geriatrician at University Hospitals Sussex, warns that heat can also be deadly for stroke patients. In a study across 25 countries, the hottest days led to two extra deaths per 1,000 ischemic stroke cases. That translates to more than 10,000 additional stroke deaths every year worldwide. Heat waves also disrupt sleep and can worsen neurological symptoms like seizures and dementia. Older people are especially vulnerable because they struggle to regulate body temperature. Sisodia notes that as the world warms, the stress on our brains will grow. What we see today in people with neurological disorders could one day affect everyone. It's a scorching summer day in a big city. The sun is setting over the hot skyline. We're all trying to stay cool. But did you know that the heat is also putting a strain on your brain? It's true. Heat waves can have a serious impact on our brain health. But it's not too late to take action. By understanding the risks, we can all do our part to protect ourselves and our loved ones. So let's spread the word and stay cool. That's one minute. See you tomorrow.